What's up everybody? Welcome to the 2300 Gear Jammer channel. I was feeling kind of sick in the last video, so I'm, I'm back to 100%, so I'm going a whole lot faster than I was. And uh, for this one, we're going to do a whole bunch of wiring and just fix general stuff on the car. I want the windows to roll up and down like normal, and uh, I don't run Lexan windows. This is all glass, and it gets hot at the track and all the other stuff I want to do. So uh, we're going to put working windows in it. And um, headlight to taillight, we're gonna do wiring, which is kind of tough. The wiring harness that was in it, the fuse block, I can't find it. I have looked in all the totes that I've got and I don't see where I put it. Hmm. So I may have to pull the wiring harness out of this one um, just to do all of that stuff. I don't wanna wire that stuff from scratch. It'll take forever. And um, I don't wanna have to sort that stuff out. So we're gonna start with, uh, start with wiring and get the car back to working and then we'll add fuel injection stuff to it. So for the fuel injection, I have, uh, I got a Ron Francis harness and yours may look a little different if you buy one. I think this was a prototype piece. So prototype doesn't mean better. It means first and they made it better later. So yours may look a little bit different. This thing looks awesome though. Uh, certainly gonna help get things moving a little bit faster. So I've never done it this way with the drop-in harness. I'm pretty excited about trying that. I don't remember what this harness was for. We just had it on the shelf. So when I did the Mustang, I ordered the eight foot section of wire that's labeled uh, for Megasquirt stuff. And I, I just wired it from point to point and put all the stuff in from scratch. I kind of like it, but I'm definitely gonna rewire that car. I don't think I'll go this route, but uh, this is gonna be perfect. That car's already set up. All the rest of the car, the lights and stuff work wipers and everything so I'm not gonna worry too much about that just trying to get engine management stuff cleaned up this since I'm starting from scratch on the on basically everything I think this is pretty decent and uh, the other issue is I need to figure out something for a dash I've got this garbage factory dash when I've grabbed it off the shelf I am Pretty sure a squirrel's gonna come out. So I weighed this dash on a bathroom scale and it's about 15 pounds with a uh, metal dash, a dash pad, one duct, and however, maybe a squirrel or two. So a fiberglass dash is three to four pounds probably and like 400 bucks now, they're outrageous. And I don't like the flat tin looking dashes. I think those are awful for this kind of car. So I still want as much of it to look like a 77 Pinto as I can. And I don't want to spend thousands of dollars to do it. So we're just going to work with the steel dash for now. I'll cut whatever I can off of it. Maybe I'll end up using the red dash, which is awful. But uh, we'll see. We're going to get into that. So uh, we are going to do wiring, doors, windows. And that's going to take a while. Let's go. This is the most annoying thing. When I was doing the cage, I kept trying to open the door and... Uh, and it wouldn't open. The door handle got unhooked at some point in this car's life and because it sat outside with no windows in it, all of that stuff rusted. So I'll be stealing that from the other car. Oh, it's like a brand new one. Oh my goodness, that is sticky. Mm. Oh, oh. It's like brand new. That is so much better than not having one. Oh man, that works like a champ. This is gonna be great. Let's get going. I went through a lot of trouble to not drill out the rivets in the window just to then drill out the rivets in the window. I think I'm gonna clean all this stuff up and cobble it together in the other door before I start on the left side. Make sure I can remember how to put the thing back together. All right, so the reason the door handle doesn't work is uh, at some point I knocked this loose. So I sprayed it, but uh, it is still not fixed itself yet. So I'll pull the bushing out of the other side, other car, whatever. Yep. Yeah. 
That'll be good. Now I can lock the keys in it at the track. Oops. Yeah, I didn't have the right size rivet, so I'll have to do that at some point. I went to get some, they didn't have any that were the right size. So the little plastic spacers that go in between the glass and the bracket, I may order some of those new. The ones that came out of this other window were half broke, so. Um, and this door panel, somebody's already started on. So this one won't take too long just to get this junk into that junk and then the window goes up. Yeah. I like it. I didn't have the right size rivets. Uh, the windows take a quarter inch aluminum rivet. And uh, there's these things that uh, it's made to, it clamps around the glass. This one is clearly missing the window. But uh, since I'm doing this, I'm just gonna order a set of these. When I get the rivets, I'll, I'll finish it up all in one shot. So that'll be good. Now, uh, now we have working windows, door latches, door locks. I don't know why I did the door locks, but I was in there. So uh, doors work. Time to move on to the wiring. So far, the, the initial wiring of the car isn't gonna go real bad. Um, there's more of the body harness on here than I thought. So we've got working tail lights. We don't have work in anything. We have wiring to make working tail lights. So, got that, got the little corner markers, and uh, which one of you was here before? My gosh, hmm, very good. This is gonna be easy. Easy, easy. Surprisingly, we're sitting pretty good on the body harness. I've got tail lights everything up to uh, about where the driver's seat is so I need to go pull all the headlight harness off the other cars things like that and then we got to dig around under the dash and pull out the fuse block in the other one so uh, hopefully that's the easiest way to wire this car and get working turn signals and stuff so ugh. here we go All right, everything from uh, firewall forward came out just fine. That was quick, only took a couple of minutes. And uh, next is, Ooh. hmm, next is this. I need to decide if I wanna roll around in this mess and try to get the harness out or just take the dash out. I don't know. Put in the comments, what would you do? If you were me, would you try to put something down and lay in this junk, or would you, you're gonna get dirty either way. That's the worst part, is everything, why is everything sticky? I mean, I get that it's a red interior, but, hmm. Anyway, I don't know. I'm gonna pick at the harness for a little bit, and if I can't get it, I'll pull the dash out. We'll, we'll start there and see if I can sneak the harness out. It's not a whole lot to it. The problem is, um, all of the stuff has got to come this way because the fuse block is attached So I need to be able to get enough room to get the fuse block out from underneath the dash and then bring all the stuff from under the hood with it So Let's we'll see how it goes I think I'm gonna pull the seat up I went to rip the seat out thinking that it would be something holding it and almost fell over backwards. It's pretty bad. That's the floor. <laughs> yeah, good. I think I'm gonna pull the column, uh, the cluster heater controls and the uh, headlight switch. Oh, here it goes. Oh no, there it broke. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll see. If I can get the column out, That'll give me more access to the fuse panel and uh, the, the bracket that the fuse panel's sitting on. So we'll start there. I, if I can get the panel knocked loose, I might end up needing this steering column anyway for the other one. Um, so we're just gonna get that out of the way. <laughs> this is gonna be easy. Well, that took about 45 minutes and was definitely the wrong way to do it. Done. 
installed. All right, here's my goal. I want to install all of this harness back in it and not have anything attached to the dash. So some of the clipping points was in the factory dash. I want to do away with that. The dash serves no purpose other than to look like it's there. Uh, so I want to make sure everything is attached to not so much the firewall because that stuff melts, but uh, cage or the structure for the pedals, anything like that. And I'm in pretty good shape. Everything that's on the inside should just plug in. And of course, we welded the whole shut in the firewall for the grommet to go through, so I'm going to have to deal with that. So i got to cut a hole open to get the harness through. But uh, that shouldn't be too bad. I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to get to today. If nothing else, I'm just going to get the inside of the car stuff plugged in, and we'll see where we end up. This is gonna be easy. All right, we made some progress. I wish I could say that was easy. Uh, I did all of this without any kind of wiring diagram. And the reason I did that is it forces me to go point to point and follow, trace every wire A to B. And uh, it's a good thing because it was a lot of places that the wire had chafed or mice had chewed it, melted, who knows? I mean, there's a lot of problems with it. So uh, I just went one wire at a time, cut off what I didn't need. And uh, by the time I got done, it was only five wires that came out under the hood. And where I started out, I had all the wires here. I thought about it after I cut the hole through the firewall. I decided to go back, I pulled everything through, I moved it to the back side of the firewall, and then I ran everything underneath the fenders. And there's a connector that I added under there. So if I ever do a one piece front clip, I can just use the same wiring harness, so. But I've got working lights now. So uh, brake lights, tail lights, turn signals, reverse lights work off of the shifter like they're supposed to and uh, headlights, high beam, low beam, got the indicator in the dash. Uh, pretty excited to do that. And uh, the, I was looking at the Ron Francis harness and that was for, it looks like it's a stock drop-in harness for TFI, so it's got a distributor. And I've thought about it and thought about it and thought about it. What I want to do is make this car identical to that one. I couldn't decide, now that I've at least gone this far, that's what I'm going to do. So in the event that I would ever want to drop this engine out of the Mustang into the Pinto, I could do that and not have to rewire anything. So I think uh, I'm going to end this one right here. I'm going to take the Ron Francis harness home. I'll work on that for a little while. And I should be able to start the next video with the harness ready to go. Maybe we can work on some of the pimp install stuff. So we'll go a step at a time. But thanks for watching. Make sure you leave some comments. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.